Hi, my name is Miguel Munjau, and this is a third interactive advanced concept presentation of CHEM2. Today I'm doing the baking soda vinegar rocket experiment. And for this experiment, I'm using baking soda, distilled vinegar, diluted with water to 5%, and a bottle of water, which is gonna be my, my rocket. And I'm using a cork to secure the, the bottle. So before I go ahead and prepare the experiment, I'm gonna explain a little bit the chemistry behind this. So this is an acid-base reaction. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, which is a weak base with a pH of eight. Vinegar is acetic acid, which is a weak acid with a pH of 2.5. And when these two substances mix together, the baking soda takes a proton from the vinegar and the reaction generates a salt called sodium acetate and carbonic acid that rapidly breaks down into carbon dioxide and water. Placing a cork on the water bottle causes the carbon dioxide to build up, increasing the pressure inside the bottle. Then the pressurized carbon dioxide that is free from chemical bonds escapes through the weakest point of the bottle which is in this case is uh, the cork, and provides the truss needed to launch the water bottle in the air. So now I'm gonna prepare the, the experiment. First, I'm gonna pour some vinegar inside the bottle of water. I'm gonna fill up about probably less than half of the, of the bottle. Now I'm gonna prepare the baking soda. I'm gonna pour about two spoons of uh, baking soda. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the baking soda inside the bottle and let's wait for the reaction to happen. Oh. That was fast. So as you can see, the weakest point was where the place where I placed the, the cork. That's the, the area that it opened. All right, that concludes our experiment.